Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fire, and I'm here with a special report, a monthly forecast for the month of October 2016. So, first transit I want to talk about is Mercury, the planet of thoughts, the planet of words, of communication and navigation through life, is moving in to Libra at 7th of October. This is a time that we can all recalibrate our routes. We can change the way that we communicate with one another. Libra is not the balance sign we often like to think of it. It's a cardinal sign that talks about the beginning of autumn. It's a sign that has some darkness about it because it looks forward and it says not only autumn but winter to follow and it knows that it has those vast challenges if it needs to go through winter. So it, it constantly looks for what it was lacking, for where it went wrong <laughs> and that way it tries to bring itself to equilibrium. So in a sense, in a very personal way in our own lives, we can understand where we have been wrong, what we have been missing. If we've been communicating the wrong way with people, we've been saying the wrong words, we've been doing the wrong deeds, we would get this acute sense of need to bring what is missing into our life. And that could be a beautiful thing because it can because it is a cardinal sign, it, it, it really it, it creates a forward movement. It creates a, a, a locomotive starting to go along its tracks. And that forward movement can take us places and can make us join Libra again with others on the same cause, creating a mutual ground for growth for understanding and for collaboration. And we can see it also not on the personal level, on the social level, on the state level, on the world stage, with different countries, different bodies, different people, different um, interest groups, joining together to move things forward. People who have a common goal, who have a mutual understanding. Where could we see not so beneficial or positive aspects of this transit? We can, uh, there, there are some groups and, or, or individuals that can feel that this progress is taking something away from them, that they're losing their truth, losing their power, losing their heritage, losing their authenticity, and that could create measures, countermeasures, that of them trying to prevent it in their eyes and and that could be a little more extreme when could it be a little more extreme especially at the in the middle of the month from october 16th up to october 21st we have a full moon in aries joined by uh, um, mars and pluto conjunct in the sky this is a turbulent time emotionally. This is a time that all our lower chakras are bubbling, that we become much more carnal and much more um, enthusiastic and, and um, connected to our basic primal natures. And that could be great because we'll be full of life and zest and passionate about everything and opinionated about everything, but we could be overly dramatic and we could be overly reactive and we could go to extremes and we can be even violent. And we have to watch that within ourselves and we have to watch that in the environment as well. So we all become more um, bubbly at this time and this could actually work well with the fact that Venus, the planet of relationship, satisfaction, and love, is moving into Sagittarius at October 18th, on October 18th, making us all much more adventurous, optimistic, willing to step out of our comfort zones to get some more satisfaction in our life, to learn some new materials, to expand our mind, to try new things in order to bring what was lacking 
again, Venus, what was lacking in the satisfaction, in the relationship, in the love, in the monetary uh, value that we produce or bring in to our lives. And this is also a time that we can disseminate uh, information regarding those subjects. And it's a kind of a happy-go-lucky period, but since it is, the negative aspects of it is that we really want to indulge ourselves at this time. We really want to have fun. So we drink more uh, hard drinks or sweet drinks. We, the food we eat is a richer food. We'd like to spend more on uh, shopping and all kinds of goodies. So we have to watch ourselves not to spend too much money or to gain too much weight. The sun is moving into Scorpio on October 22nd. Happy birthday, all you Scorpions. I love you as a Scorpio Ascendant. So happy birthday. And that kind of atmosphere of the sun in Scorpio brings about changes in the basis of power, both in a personal way and on a global way. And what could be more fitting for the very um, special election period in the States than the Sun in Scorpio. So the time leading up to November 8th and this truly unique election in the States is going to be very interesting with the Sun in Scorpio influencing changes in the basis of power and uncovering things from beneath the surface, making them rise up and, and being dealt with on a conscious, on a public uh, out on the open, on a public level and out of, of, on the open. So in, on a personal level, you know, we could dig inside and see the way we are, what we do, how we radiate in life and understand, again, how things from the past, things that have been hiding underneath our radar, so to speak, running amok without us actually bringing them up to our consciousness. Let's say we had an emotional trauma from um, back in our childhood time that created an emotional pattern, that created a behavioral pattern regarding the way we seek attention and love. And at this time, as we dwell inside, as we look inside and start investigating why we act a certain way, we get to these understandings that show us where the root of things is and immediately when this whole procedure is brought up from our unconscious to the conscious consciousness itself start, starts changing things and our priority list changes our behavioral patterns change the way we seek love and attention changes because what is scorpio all about scorpio is all about gaining power it's all about making myself more attractive in the eyes of others and what i should do to get more power and strength, to rise above my limitations, to change, to transcend. And this is a time of transcendence. And when we talk about the global level, the social level, this could be a time that things that have been tried, uh, that people have tried to cover up are being exposed again. And this brings again changes. The same day, around October 23rd, Jupiter would be quincunxing Neptune. This is a purification aspect about cleansing, and it can bring uh, a question of when is enough and when we should let things be and not be too intrusive about things, about situations, about scenarios that are not our own. Like, how much involvement should the U.S. have in Syria? How much involvement does... Russia need to have in Syria. How much should we help uh, our poor and our underprivileged? How much uh, social rights or effort should Europe go through to help uh, refugees? I'm just giving examples from the top of my head, okay? But on a personal level, we could experience a time in which one of our best friends is having a crisis and we feel like we really know what's best for them, but we don't know how much we can actually tell them that and guide them and how much should be their own work. 
or our son or our daughter is going through something and we don't know how much charge we can take of the situation and how much um, should be their own work. Mercury is going to move into Scorpio on the 24th of October as well and it will even put a higher demand on authenticity regarding everything that concerns our words and our thoughts and our navigation through life. We will find it really hard to cover up things, uh, all the dirt uh, beneath the rug and live, live uh, and continue to live with it. And if we will, the price that we'll pay later on is going to escalate. So honesty is the name of the game. And with honesty on our communication, needing to spell it out, even if it's a dirty little secret, how can we keep a tranquil, harmonious relationship, stable relationship at the same time? Well, that's really a form of art. And if you'll master that art during this time, you'll gain both strength and you could really bring to a, a, a new firmness and a re-establishment of your connections and relationships. And we can see it in the sky in the way that Venus is going to conjunct Saturn between October 27th and November 2nd. Concluding it all, this is a very important time for us. It's a time that uh, we get new understandings, new understandings regarding ourselves and our lives. We understand who we want to be during uh, the next cycle and we promise ourselves the change uh, uh, we promise ourselves to do the changes that need to be made during the next few months in the hebrew calendar this is the jewish new year so we're actually talking about new year promises if we're taking something from kabbalah and from judaism so um, I really hope that we're going to have a wonderful month, that it's going to prove positive for all of us. And from here in Israel, uh, I wish you a Shana Tova, a Happy New Year. And I want to thank you for listening. And may we all struggle uh, bravely with the darkness within us and, and uh, win over it and go on and strengthen the light both in ourselves and the world. This is Boaz Feiler, and of course, if you want to study astrology with me or have a consultation from wherever you are around the world, you're more than welcome to keep in touch. All the details on the slide at the end of the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.